Number one, question one on human sexuality, marriage, and family. And this is question KCSE 1990. State the difference between traditional African and modern attitude toward marriage. So in traditional African communities, marriage is a rhythm of life through which everyone must undergo. So in traditional African communities, marriage is a must. While today, a person can decide to marry or not. Yes. Number two, procreation uh, as a purpose for marriage is more emphasized in traditional communities. Procreation is emphasized in traditional communities. Whereas in the modern society, marriage is regarded complete with or without what? Children. Polygamous family is highly respected in traditional communities. While today, monogamous family is encouraged. So we are saying polygamous is for the traditional African community, whereas monogamous family is encouraged in the world today. Yes, that is in the modern society. Also, in traditional society, the husband is the head of the family. While in the modern society, the husband and the wife, team, they are the same. They complement each other. They are the same. They complement each other. Choosing a marriage partner and marriage, um, marriage arrangements were a collective responsibility in traditional communities. So that is, everyone was responsible in choosing a marriage partner and also uh, marriage arrangements were done collectively. So it was a collective responsibility in the traditional African society. But today, marriage is an individual affair. That is the couples are the ones who are supposed to, the man is supposed to choose the wife, yes? And then they are the ones who are supposed to, to, to what? To plan their what? Their marriage. So today marriage is mainly seen as individual affair. So you say traditionally it's a collective responsibility, whereas today it's an individual what? Affair. In traditional African communities, the significance of dowry was social and religious. Today, too much economic significance is attached to dowry. So in the traditional community, dowry is social and religious. Whereas today, it shows only economic significance. So you're just told, pay this amount of money, yes? And you pay and you get the wife. In traditional African communities, people looked for a marriage partner who was at working, strong, and healthy. Whereas today, the marriage is highly what? Commercialized. People look at qualities like riches, education, and beauty. So then, so you say traditionally, a marriage partner was supposed to be hardworking, healthy, strong. Those were the, the, the qualities that were needed. But today, qualities are highly commercialized. That is, you look at riches level of education and beauty you have so many other points they wrote only those ones i think we tackled it and you wrote it right yes. then we go to quest 1997 discuss the measures taken by the traditional african communities to distag to discourage pregnancy before marriage so how is uh, pregnancy before marriage or it's called what premarital sex discouraged in where in traditional African communities. <coughs> sex education was given to the youth. So sex education is given to the youth to instill discipline. That is why. The youth are made aware of the consequences of irresponsible sex. Or they are made aware of the consequences of premarital sex. Mm -hmm. 
Sex before marriage was prohibited. That is, it was against the social norm. Virginity was highly valued. Girls who became pregnant before marriage were severely punished. Also, young men who impregnated a girl before marriage were also <coughs> punished. Parents were held responsible for their daughter's conduct. So we are saying they were held responsible for their daughter's conduct in that if your, your daughter gets pregnant before marriage, you are what? People blame you, right? Yes. So parents were held responsible for their daughter's conduct. Young people were supervised during social occasions. So this, I remember they were supervised in order to ensure that they, do, they did not do what? Misbehave. There was physical separation of sexes. That is, they, 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 they lived in separate what? Houses. Then we go to the third question that I gave you. 2002, state ways in which sex is abused in Kenya. Did I give you that? So you say there is sex before marriage, which is fornication. Basically, you're supposed to mention that sex before marriage, fornication. Sex outside marriage is adultery. There is prostitution. There is also homosexuality. You can call it uh, either lesbianism, there is sodomy or sex. There is um, masturbation. There is also incest. There is rape. <coughs> there is pornographic material in the mass media. Did, we talk, did I ask you about uh, problems faced by family living with a member of HIV AIDS? Hmm? So we go to 2000. How was marriage formalized in traditional African communities? That's where we are. How it was formalized. Number one, there was giving bride prize as a token of appreciation to the bride's family. There is also exchange of gifts among the family members. So we are saying there is giving bread prize as a token of appreciation to the bread family. Then there was exchange of gifts among the family members. So 
religious ritual were performed. Ceremonies were held And this, in these ceremonies, there was uh, food and beer sharing among friends and families. Don't forget that. There was also exchange visits by the families of the bride and the groom. So we said there was exchange visits by the families of the bride and the bridegroom. There was also marriage negotiations were held. Celebrations through songs and dance. And the virginity of the bride was proved. So the marriage negotiations were held celebrations through songs and dances and virginity of the bride was proved give reasons why some christians will break their marriage vows unfaithfulness so what we call adultery There is also due to lust. Lust is just a whim for bodily desire. <coughs> poverty. You can also call poverty financial constraints. Pressure from in laws. There's lack of faith in God. Influence from friends, from peers. Lack of guidance and counseling. Barrenness, which is a uh, lack of children or you can say having children of one sex another reason why some christian marriages break is because of hypocrisy or pretense poor role models <coughs> and denial of conjugal rights I see denial of conjugal rights, poor role models, effects from foreign culture, or effect from the mass media.